morning on the homestead. It's a little brighter out here than let's see if you catch the sunrise. Sun is coming up. The sun is coming up. We're headed out for a little fishing this morning and it's gonna be a good time. We got up at like five o'clock and we're headed out. Everybody's good and tired. Everybody ready for a good time? Yeah. Hopefully we catch fish for dinner tonight. Yeah. Ooh. All right. We're towing my friend's boat, so the van's ready. I think I need an adapter. That's it. Let's load up and go get some fish. Up. Yeah. Any bugs for you guys, real quick? GoPro. Oh, nice. You got it, girl. Nice color. Where's the fish, guys? Got one? There you go. Nothing yet. We're starting to move a little bit, that's good. He's out. He's out. Oh yeah, baby, fight that fish. Got a crab so far. Twist. He's a, he, he's still on it. Oh, he's got one. Oh my goodness! Hold on, it, it, it's just pulling. Just keep it. Oh yeah, keep reeling, son. Oh, oh I yeah. See it now. Whoa! Ooh. Nice, sweet fish, brother. Grab that line and pull it in, or I'll just do this. Stay still. Look at that, I lost him. <laughs> there you go. Huh? Nice, easy release. Yeah, look Going under the boat now. Up front, up front. Whoa. Put it out. He might have some. All right, that's cool. Let me reel this one. Hey, can you take this pole? Everybody reel up. Can you reel it in, baby? He's got one. Yeah, he's up front, got one. step up top. Is your pole in, Joey? No, no, reel it in. 
Reel it in, bro. On this side and, and go over on this side next to David and reel it in. Hold on, hold on, hold on, stop. Yeah, it works. Yep, he got got the net. Yeah, I got it right here. Bring that over. That's a keeper. This way. Go ahead, video. Bring it up. Reel it up, son. Well, you're, you're done reeling. You have to reel. You have to... Oh. oh, man. When you see the thing at the top, stop reeling. That's it. Yeah, when you see him come to the top, stop reeling. And you can pick up Keep your pole. Keep him over this way. a boy. You can step forward up here. Keep reeling. Anything. Keep reeling. All right, there you're you go. good. We got him. Oh, man. All right. got good weight. Nice. All right, now pull straight up on the line if you want. Let me get him inside. Okay. Pull straight up on this, and then he should come right out. Okay. No triangulation. Get your pull down. This hose oh, hold. Oh, man, that looks like another 16 or 17. All right, we got a couple. Let me catch four fish. Wow. <laughs> we caught four fish. We got one keeper. Yeah. Now we're headed out of here. Dave caught two and Dave. Joey caught one? No. Dave, oh. Dave two and you two. I thought somebody else had one. Alright, so we're tied up. Dave, you have it? Go ahead, baby. Reel up. Be on the net. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Woo! All right, baby. You got one, too. You're in the hot spot. Can you hold this for a second? I think that was the one which a mess will fly, and we keep messing it. Yeah, you got him. I just felt we're going, so it was good. Good job. You got one? Yep. Second one? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Oh, Alright, hang on. Can we get tangled in that? That's tangled. Chartreuse, oh. yep. With the white jig. Oh, wow, it hit the, uh, the weight too. Hit the white. Oh, man, it's close. What is... I need someone to hold this. Did you get a picture of her holding one yet? No. Uh, I got the video though. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. What? Sorry, baby. Next one. What was happening with me? The squirrel were eating the white flowers. When they did that, I got a fruit. Yeah. Yeah, that's why we got that garden fence up. Yeah, that's the camera you use when the dogs run? Sometimes. Yeah. This is good because it's like waterproof. You can drop it. This is a float I got in case I drop in the water. You know, if I do. And that'll keep it. Yeah, so we can just fish it out. Be sitting up That's where Buddy would go out and he would kill the groundhogs. You gotta see him do that. son has learned the heartbreak of fishing because some of them got off and then he didn't get it so he's pretty upset. Did you learn about the heartbreak of fishing? <laughs> ah! 
hopefully this knife is sharp enough. And we're gonna come up this we cut down around its face, cut down the spine, and then we're gonna work it each one off. That's hopefully that's how it goes. To deal with, but it's good enough for lunch. This is how you use the whole fish. Man, look at that mushroom that grew there. I wonder what that is. <laughs> Gotta find out. Anybody know what type of mushroom this is growing in the chicken pen? Very cool. It's on a dead pine. Anyways, this is how we're going to use the whole fish. The chickens love to eat this stuff. So they're gonna get the body, and then I'll show you what we do with the head. Hey guys. The chickens are going to get the body, uh, and they're going to peck that thing clean. It's going to be great. Protein boost for them. should give them a little egg boost production. What we're left with is the flounder head. And we have this can that sits here. So we put the head in. And his teeth are stuck on the towel. There we go. Flounder head. And yeah, that'll be a good thumbnail. head or heads we put in here flies will be on this thing in probably a matter of minutes those holes in the bottom will allow the fly larva or maggots uh, drop out the bottom and then the chickens will also eat them so the chickens get a protein boost with the body and with the head and the flies you can see they're already on this thing making progress That's the hen boss. She gets first pickings, I guess. All right, so we're gonna heat up some oil, cast iron. I'm using Louisiana Cajun crispy fry, fish fry. Sick. <laughs> Japanese style, eat it like that. <laughs> There's people on flounder party boats that were cutting it up and just eating it like that. Really? Yeah, they got tickets. Oh man. Can you guys smell that? Can you smell that? You can try a little morsel. You ready? Gets a little spot. <laughs> it's nice. It's like a little salty, a lot of flavor in there, a lot of Cajun seasoning for sure, and then the heat just comes on you. It's hotter and it gets hotter and hotter. It's really good. That's a good one there. Shrimp's orange and fried flounder. All right, so now we're making our own fish sauce. Like 
tartar sauce. We're using ketchup, relish, and this is Japanese mayonnaise, koopy, poopy mayo. Jersey tomatoes and lettuce. Oh yeah, it's good. I think this sauce in combination with the heat is going to be real nice. Artisanal. I think this sandwich will all just take a bite. This is where like Emmy would cut in and do like a slum like peanut. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Who's up first? Daddy. Alright. Cross section. Hmm. <laughs> Good. That bread is nice and soft. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that sauce really takes some of the heat out, but it's still good. You can still taste it. You can see a little glare from that rack, my camera lens. Yeah. The heat comes on a little bit, yeah. It's good. All right, let's finish this up and eat it. So that's it. Fresh flounder. We cooked it the same day. And we used 100% of this fish because our chickens are now turning everything else into eggs for us. So lots of good, clean protein. Good, clean protein. All right, y'all. Hope you enjoyed this video. We're going to go stuff ourselves with the rest of this. So until next time, be blessed and peace. <laughs>